I am super excited and fired up for designing this lady garment logo that Jimmy asked us to design. We're going to jump in on photo P and design this African because some of you know that I'm from South Africa. We are a very colorful country. So join me and let's create this colorful African fashion logo. One of the questions I get is where do I get my ideas from? Uh, whenever I have an idea, I jot it down and I sketch it down until I eventually come up with something I want to put on computer to design. So sketching is very good. We're going to open the online editor PhotoP by going to www.photop.com. Then you just click and you drag your picture that you've drawn. So I've done a sketch of this African lady garments picture that I want to create a logo on and you just drag it to a canvas and it opens up a background automatically for you. So I do want to rotate this, then I'm going to click on the move tool so that it opens up these transform control. Then I can select on transform control and then hover on one of the corners so that it opens up or it shows me those back-to-back -back arrows then i can rotate the picture in a way that i want like that so i will click on correct so that it closes nicely for us then i'm going to just reduce the picture because it fills the whole canvas then i will move use my move tool and move it just to the middle of the page like that. I'm quite comfortable and happy with that. Then I would click on correct and I'm going to go to my layers and lock the layer so that I can add a brand new layer on top of my background and start designing. Then I'm going to click on new layer and then it is just on top of my background and then I can start designing my design. Next, I'm going to select a pen tool so I can start designing. I'm going to click on from this point to this point. I start dragging it nicely that way so that it creates that breast that I want. You click on V, it takes you back to your move tool. And when you click on the gray, it again allows you to have those points. So you click and you hold so that it creates that nice breast look and you rotate it so nicely and gentle until you find the design that you're comfortable with. Next, I'm gonna select my pen tool. Then I want to cover the bodies. So I'm gonna click on this point, this point, this point, and then Then you press V to go back to your move tool. Then you start adjusting your design so that it covers. If you press command plus, you can zoom in to have a look at your work up and close and make sure that you're happy with the way that it looks. For our next step, we're going to design the belt for the dress. So we're going to select the pen tool and then we're going to select the points for the pen in order for us to create this gorgeous belt we want to create. I want to fill this with a different color so I'm going to make that white and change the color of that and then I'm going to press V for the move tool and click anywhere else so I can move the belt over to the dress. And now we're going to create different colors for the dress. Let's do this. We're going to select our pen tool and we're going to move our points again. Point A. I'm selecting anchor points to have the dress shimmer, you know, so that it's not the same straight because dresses are not straight. And I'm happy with that first look. I'm going to press V. Take off the controls. Let's see, yes. Then maybe I can change the color for that one and fill it with a blue color. Go back to my pen tool and do the same for the next section. So I'm gonna click on over there and 
bring it to here and do a little dressy kind of design and i want to change the fill of that one and make it yellow press on the move tool press anywhere else move it slightly so that it is aligned to that other shape next i'm going to carry on like that and create the rest of the dress so i'm gonna create my points all that's left now is to clean up the extra spaces using your transform controls and moving the shape so that it is a complete seamless looking dress so let's do that i just gotta get through cause i feel like taking off find a place with the view the pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you so our belt is shape number five we want to have this shape on top of all of these other layers so that it covers all of this extra space that you see over there so we just click and move and we move the shape to the top of all of our shapes like that so that it covers everybody so we're going to control backwards and it looks like that and you can hide the background if you want so that it takes it away like that all of your shapes next we're going to highlight all of our layers so you click and you highlight so that all of the shapes are selected then we're going to rasterize we're going to right click and rasterize our shape which is going to allow us to move the shape around or do whatever we want with the shapes so they're still highlighted i'm going to command g or control g so that it groups all of the layers i hope you saw on the layers that they all became one folder and then it's grouped we can move it to the side so that we can add the name of the company and the tagline for the company next we're going to go to our type tool and we're going to create a text for this fashion building for jimmy and we've selected type tool let's use this Della gothic font and let's change the size of it and make it a nice large font once you are done with your text and your tagline then you're gonna export this as a png it's already on a transparent background so we're going to export as a png we're gonna reduce the width and the lay and make it the size a little bit smaller and then we're gonna export it you can always save your design as a psd so you save it as a psd wherever you want to save it and then you open photo p on your templates to convert to 3d we love our 3ds on this channel so we're gonna go to mockups scroll down until you find a mockup that you like i'm gonna use the logo mockup on an office class today double click on it and select on the link and then it opens up double click where it says your logo here on the checkout box and then hide the group copy so that you're able to drag your logo and then you can convert it control s or command s to change it to smart object and then click once where it says logo mockup on the first step to convert it to a beautiful 3d dress fashion logo if you want to learn how to use the pen tool more you can go to this video that we've created before you're more than welcome to join and get a course that i've created for just logo designers on our website learnwithzart.com thank you so much for joining me today i enjoyed our project i will see you on the next video yeah.